In this video, we are going to look at addition reactions in organic chemistry, and we're going to understand the chemical reactions that can be undertaken by alkenes and alkynes. An addition reaction occurs when the double or triple bond in alkenes and alkynes respectively are broken and allow for the addition of new atoms into the molecule. There's four types of addition reactions that I'm going to go through with you today. The first one is an addition reaction with hydrogen. Then we're going to look at addition reactions with a halogen, addition reactions with a hydrogen halide, and last of all, addition reactions with water. So the reason an addition reaction can occur in an alkene or an alkyne is because of the double bond in an alkene or the triple bond in an alkyne. These bonds, because the molecule is not saturated, meaning that all available bonds are not taken up with a hydrogen atom or an atom of another element, this bond is really reactive. This molecule actually wants to break and react with other molecules so that it can become what we call saturated, where every bond is taken up by an atom of some kind and we don't have any double or triple bonds. The first reaction we're looking at is that of an alkene. So in this case, we have butene, but because we've got four carbon atoms and a double bond. So the reaction between butene and hydrogen. So in this reaction, what happens is that this double bond will break. And that double bond breaking allows for two more atoms of hydrogen to bond to this molecule. So these hydrogen atoms will break apart from each other and they're added onto the butene which now is butane because there's no longer a double bond and all bonds are taken up with the hydrogens. And so this molecule is now considered to be saturated. If we consider the reaction now with butyne, which is four carbon atoms, but the presence of a triple bond, then we need excess hydrogen because it's not just one bond that can break in butyne. There's actually two of these bonds that can break apart and allow for the addition of hydrogen. So this bond here can break. And now this double bond here can break as well. And so there's actually spots now for four extra hydrogens to be attached to this molecule. And again, we end up with our molecule that we call butane because it only contains single bonds and all of those bonds are saturated, taken up by hydrogens. Now let's consider the reaction of a butene with a halogen. This halogen could be um, chlorine, so Cl2. It could be bromine, Br2. Um, it doesn't matter. They all have the same valency. They're all in our group seven of our periodic table. Now, the same thing happens in addition reaction. Um, so this double bond in the butene can break, and that will allow for the addition of the two bromine atoms or the two chlorine atoms, whichever halogen it is, to join onto this molecule. What we have here is 1,2-dichlorobutane. Now let's look at the reaction of our alkene, our butene, with our hydrogen halide. So this here could be hydrogen chloride, and very similar to the last two examples is this double bond breaks to allow these two atoms to be attached to the one molecule. So instead of having butene and hydro hydrogen chloride, we would have a molecule that contains these hydrogen and chlorine. And in this case, we have two chloro butane. 
And our last example is our reaction of our alkene with water. This is called hydration. We're hydrating the molecule with water. Again, same as all the other ones, the double bond breaks. This double bond breaking allows for an OH to attach and the hydrogen to attach. So now we have an alcohol. We have 2-butanol or butan-2-ol. It's an alcohol because of the OH functional group here due to the hydration of the butene molecule. I hope this video has helped to give you um, a visual representation of the different types of addition reactions that we can have with our alkenes and our alkynes. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel.